Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at the time of day and how you can work with your media. So previously we've already talked about these things in previous versions of Twinmotion, but it's pretty cool to look at the updates that is here in Twinmotion 2020. And at the same time, you might probably have noticed that certain things are not where they are. So we already talked about some other stuff when we did the whole walkthrough. And in case you haven't seen that video, link is going to be in the description for that. But how you can get started with this is by default, if you come over here, you can actually set your time of day. And this is not news for anyone that's been using Twinmotion over a period of time. But there's just a couple of updates attached to this one that you probably haven't taken Oh, you probably haven't seen so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take off that smoke right there and this scene is a scene that we already you know made a video about if you want to work with your time of day you make your settings here right and when you go over to this section where you have to create your video if you go over to media which is here go over to video click over here you may notice that there are certain things that you cannot essentially work with so if i come over here and let's say we want this to actually let me go through and simply you know delete this so if i say i would like this to start off by about this time of the day and we want it to move from here maybe over to nightfall something like this if we want to get something like that by default when we come over to the media section which is here go over to video click here we can create something new we can now proceed to clicking something else after we've made an alteration in our camera which might probably be something like this so let's say this is what we're going for we want our camera to zoom all the way back and get to a position like this and we would like it to actually change you can now notice that we don't have access to that and if i simply click right here i now have my camera changing if i simply go ahead and press the playback button you can see our camera is changing and we don't really have access to you know playing with the time of day and if you've been using twinmotion 2019 and moving over to twinmotion 2020 you would also notice that this is a bit uncomfortable owing to the fact that when you go over to your more settings you don't see anything that controls that now what they've done is they've actually packed every single thing that has to do with you changing the time of day for you you changing the month you working with your not offset your background and and so on and so forth so from here is where you can change the time of day so you might want to you know slide this all the way down about a point like this so I think we're getting some very interesting things going on there and possibly I'm also going to rotate this a little bit like that and with this here I can go all the way back by simply clicking on this button and hitting the refresh so once I do this you would now see that we already have a cool stuff happening here and if you're coming from older twin motion like this file is from an older twin motion file i think you should really take into account the reflection probes and try to turn it off turn it back on change it remove it try something like that because there is actually cool updates that they've made for this particular one so the next thing which you would probably want to do is just go in add a couple of light fixtures which you can find from the city things like your default street lamps and, and stuff like that you may want to add things like this and play around your scene try to get something that works for you and with that done you have your scene good to go so what we would like to do now is we may want to export these files as it is so what we're going to do is simply go all the way back with all of our light stuff and everything ready to go we can go all the way back and since we've added the light i think it's also worth it to go over to the weather and add a little bit of smog since we've already talked about volumetrics previously so in case you haven't seen that also check out the link in the description we can come through and add a little bit of smog around here a couple of things just to enhance the entire scene and yeah so once we go all the way back to what we have right here we can now choose to go around the setting and this setting that you have here controls the entire thing because if i come through and click over here you now notice that we have multi set to month and multi set to offset this simply means that the setting for both the month and also for the not offsets are different except you're doing a universal sort of rendering let's say you're capturing the same daylight 
all through for different sides let's say you're trying to get the perspective the front view top view you know all of those views that is when i would suggest that you use this particular setting right here is where you can put a clip in between here is where you can specify the timing like right now we have this set to 10 seconds and you can go through and set this to 20 seconds i'm beginning to think that the sunlight is a little bit too much so i'll also go over to this section and sort of bring this a little bit down go back go over to our lighting and turn down the ambience just a little bit like that the exposure seems to be a little bit too much so i'm just going to tone this just slightly down as well and maybe for the lights i can also try to bring this a little bit lower move all the way back for the camera i might want to you know implement the depth of field like we talked about in previous versions so i can also you know put something like that push in a little bit of depth of field use this right here to you know make a target so i could say this is the target of my depth of field that i want to work on make sure i have my camera set to parallel raise this a little bit upwards something like this all right so something like this have it up to that point have it up to that point if you want to add some visual effects you can also come through and add a couple of visual effects if you're trying to get filters for your stuff you can also come through and play with the filters that are available right here so these are very cool stuff that you may want to you know play with and you know you also have your color gradients which you can still apply to your model depending on what you want to achieve at the end of the day so we can stick with something like this go with something way more interesting than what we have if you're into compositing then you might want to render a couple of passes which you might proceed and start working with in photoshop or in any other photo editing program of your choice so so with all of this done and ready to go you can proceed all the way back right here and choose to you know recapture or update the scene so with this here I can now go through set this to 20 and play back the entire scene so you can now see that you have all of these things happening and it's just pretty insane the kind of things that you may want to do with this so with this here and ready the next thing which you might want to do is to export this so you can simply export this by coming over here which is our export option go over to this section called video click on the empty select the video clip that you want right now we have only one video clip so we are going to select that go over to this section set to more and if you have multiple clips you want to load in you can still choose to load that in if you don't have multiple clips you can still let that be have that right there set this to standard if you want standard if you want 3d you can set that to 3d if you also want things that has to do with 360 you can also set that to 360 totally fine dependent on you the refinement has to do with some very cool looking stuff without so much anti-aliasing and at the same time it's going to try as much as possible to polish your renders so that they can look as clean as possible make sure you have your maximum lighting turned on you can also choose to come over here and change the frame rate you want so right now if we're exporting we're exporting at 30 frames per second we can choose to export at 25 60 or 128 so with all of these things done you might also want to export these as png sequence if you're into compositing in after effects or all that so with all of these things done and you're good you can go through and press the export button you can go through and press the export button to start exporting if you want to get panorama you can also use the panorama we're going to talk about this later in a subsequent video and this has to do for images if you have individual images that you've captured so you can see all of the images that we have here the first second and third we can come over here and just simply select the images which we want and get those ones out of the way you can also make all of those changes here so if you have motion blur you want to attach motion blur to this you can also turn that on if you want to attach the maximum lighting you can also choose to turn that on yeah so in case you're also wondering about what we had here like right now we had video 3 here and when we went right inside we had the clips and you can also see that we had video 3 part 1 and all that if you come through to this side you can create multiple videos so right now we have this as video 4 and the clips simply refer to the clips that are existing inside the video section so this is the video so this could be a different you know look say maybe from the top view while this is from a different angle like that you can make another one which and all of these things you can set and the clips that are responsible for them are these ones that you create inside these ones so when you're about to export is what knowing that this refers to the individual video per session 
while the clips inside has to do with the individual videos that exist inside the sessions that you're working on. It's also worth mentioning that you might notice that we have two extra new buttons here and you can use these two extra new buttons for some very cool stuff. Like right now where we have our clips and in this clips we have this set to part one. If we click here we can start a different part altogether. For the back scene which we've already gone ahead to make, if I press the playback button this is what, if I press the playback button this is what we're getting and you can see that here and if you still want to retain working let's say for the back scene and you want to make Make multiple you know clips and you just don't want those clips to touch what you can do is you can make one part which is pretty nice and you can now proceed to the next one this is going to save you so much time especially instead of creating multi frames directly here you can create various parts have all of them in the same space and you can see the total time of all of these things you can use this to crunch things together in case you want to see them or you can use it to expand this individual part so what we're going to do is just simply go in right here and within the back scene we're just going to create some more stuff and continue with the tutorial and some other things that you might also notice is directly from here with our scene here if you click right here you might be able to copy the ambience and also paste the ambience so depending on the ambience that you've set which is the mood for your particular scene you can choose to copy them what i can do right now is at the end of this i can simply press the plus button and with this here i can copy the ambience from here and come over here and simply paste that ambience directly here and you notice that our night scene is now converted to the ambience that we had here so you can use this to fast track your workflow Flow, mostly when you want to get a setting view and you want to replicate that same kind of color setting across the various clips that you have and you don't want to redo them over and over and over so you can simply use this method to get things you know going for you and this is pretty much it and if you're about to get into rendering things directly in you know twin motion 2020 or you're about to get your time of day and all of those updates cool stuff happening here this is how you go through and work with them it's going to be about it and if you have questions about any of the things we've talked about please put them in the comment section if you like this video or you learned something from it you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace